Okay. Both Steve happy. Lucar Steve Lucario. So this is kind of what they usually round out to. Mm. I, I know that they played this the last time I saw them play, which was at a Brooklyn a couple months ago, but... Shout out to Brooklyn. Shout out to Brooklyn. It's part of your locals. Now more than ever. Yes, please. Yeah, so... Oh! Nice little string there. Yeah, that's that's like most of the damage that Lucario is going to do at a low percent string, but good stuff regardless. All right, good back air there. They're going to be mining. The wood, not too much damage, but great for strings at low percentage. Oh, yeah, and I mean... Uh, not that, that pressure. We haven't seen too many extended combos, but obviously the SDI multiplier is lower on wood. Mm -hmm. First problem, the tech chase, a little interesting there. It's weird because, like, you'd think that the Aura Sphere would be a pretty good asset here, but the fact that it loses so much is definitely not what you want to see. Lucario being really mobile, though, and having at high percent... Good uh oh The block saving jewels his life yeah. there. But at higher percent, Lucario actually has some pretty good, like, Force Palm is good to break blocks, for example, right? Mm -hmm. And, like, you can back air to break the minecart. No stomp knee there from Steve, but the Aura Sphere going to break the minecart. But oh. the F-Smash both ways. I'm going to be honest. We haven't seen a lot of people actually destroying the crafting table. Who was that who was doing that? Well, the th so the destroying the crafting table is good, but it's not, it, it's not always supposed to be, like, your priority, I guess hmm. I should say, where, like... It's only, like, you should do it if you have the time and you can do it for free, but otherwise, it's not always Good the kill. best thing to do. Sometimes you want to take positioning instead. Oh, there we go. And just as I say it's, Yeah, like, well, in between stocks, it's cool. If you have an easy way Well, to do they it. just brought it back, so it's like, whatever. Yeah, but the crafting table coming back takes one resource. Ah, fair. So that's why people will do it. So, like, if Steve is planking the ledge, mm -hmm. people will usually say, go break the crafting table. Wow, Look, Vivi is doing a great job so far of just keeping pace with Jules. And uh -oh. this back air will kill soon. Town and City, oh, mm. falls out of the down air. No MLG tech required. <laughs> is that normal to fall out like yeah, that? Yeah, Okay, uh, okay. Sorry, I guess I'm like hyper vigilant right now about no, it. No, I no, you can fall out there. Okay. Jules, I mean, I know Jules isn't doing the tech. Okay, okay. I've been studying up on this because I'm a TO. All right, here we go. Force oh. here on shield. And the force palm with a block string nice. from BB. All right, that's two for two. Let's see that if we get three for three. <laughs> that was really clean. Diamond on deck here is a bit scary, but Jules doesn't have that much iron to play with. Only one now. Oh, good stuff, good stuff. One minecart, but interrupted by the back air. This is so much damage now onto Jules from BB. All right, good job avoiding that. All right, crafting yeah. table is down. Discipline from both players Ooh. is so good. There's no iron on Jules. But you need to watch out for this back air, this F smash, right? Yes, anything really. Plus yeah, on block. And see, that's diamonds. what I mean. The the force palm is really good at breaking these blocks at these at these percents when you have the aura. Okay, good aura. catch in the air. Or is it Wow, Ooh, good attack, good attack, no. good attack. No tech, the but block. still living. I think actually oh wow, we picked go. it up. I was actually about to say, I think Jules not taking on the block there is an intentional choice because <laughs> you get sent farther away. Ah, okay. But it doesn't matter. Vivi's option coverage of that game was absolutely beautiful. And I mean, like, Jewel's definitely, like, a little sloppy with her resource management. Mm -hmm. But on the other hand, Vivi doing the Steve game plan right, where, like, the way that you generally want to play against Steve is Steve wants to mine. You want to be at this sort of mid-range area where you can pressure them while mining so they can't mine for free. Right. But still be at, like, a kind of safe distance, right? And Vivi, like, did a really good job of sort of weaving in and out of that zone and not letting Jules mine for free. And then you saw she has less resources to go on. Even right. Though she has... That was beautiful, yeah. by the way. The turnaround the, the grab. The turnaround grab. Yes. Yeah. It's, Both times. It's a great block string on shield. But, like, even though Jules has diamond on deck on the last stock, mm -hmm. you're out of iron. Your mix-ups aren't there. But we're sticking with the Steve. Okay. We're going to small battlefield now, which, I mean, more of the stage is covered by platform. Slightly more normal blast zones, but... We'll see how Jules adapts. I, I'd love to see her just run away more and focus more on resource gathering because the way you're going to get around Lucario is just by having more anvils, more minecarts, like really, and get to your diamond faster. Yeah. Because Vivi doesn't have to be quite as scared of wood and stone or even iron. You know, there's something a little creepy about Underman, but I think just Steve is goofy looking. They're so goofy. I love Minecraft. I never was the biggest fan, but I recognize well, like this is a huge cultural as a, thing for as people. As a zoomer, as like a, a, as, a bo as a millennial. <laughs> yeah, I'm a, I'm a big zoomer. Oh so. no, that's fair. But like again, like I know it's a classic for folks. But anyway, my dislike of Minecraft has nothing to do with this. I think he's just a goofy character. Oh Ooh. no, he looks so funny. Wow, no forward smash. I told you it's not that laggy. You gotta just throw it out there. Uh oh. 
Great Orster. Vivi's Orster uses is actually like insane right now. The up tilt to the up smash though, wow. and that's just gonna pick it up. Okay, we got some steel there. All yeah. right, they're mining. Force on to break the blocks now. Jules is no iron once again. So if Vivi wants to pick up a kill, and that would be the time. Dash attack cross up uh -oh. and clanking. Great grab by Vivi. Okay, no counter there, but at least enough to make him second guess exactly what he's gonna do. Oh, what she's gonna do. Yeah, moving around just a forward smash, and Vivi just. <laughs> it feels like Vivi is like almost like. The way Vivi's playing right now, this might sound strange. The way Vivi's playing reminds me of John. <laughs> oh, yeah? No, I, th I think that's a compliment. Either way. I don't know if Vivi would take it as a compliment. <laughs> Well, uh -oh. John is John is raw. Yeah, yeah. No matter how you slice it, John is raw. Wow, 35. Creative extension there. Uh oh, here we go. Yeah, Jules is definitely trying to mine a little more, but Vivi getting in her face. But this big combo, no big extensions with any nils or anything, but still 63. You only have one iron on deck for Jules, though. I think the wood has been helping out a lot. No, she's been taking great advantage she's of that. She's been taking? Yeah. Yeah. She takes advantage of the wood to get more damage per combo. Mm -hmm. But you actually, uh -oh. it sucks because you do want to be doing, you want to be hitting harder too, right? Yes. We still have not reached diamond for jewels yet, and it's already been two, almost two and a half minutes. There's the diamond. Oh, there it is. Oh, there's the TNT though. Wow. And I th Vivi was still holding left because of the extreme speed, I think. So the DI yeah. was wrong. Uh oh. Jules is gonna save this diamond for the next stock, I'm sure. Of it. Yeah. No no reason to finish it out now. Uh oh. Yeah, Anvil sure. covering a lot. Oh. I mean ooh. Lucario though, obviously big comeback mechanic, you can't count them out. Wow, the coverage on the block there was so smart. Alright, mine card. Nope. Oh. Let's see. Great grab from Jules, using the range on that to whip punish Vivi there. Elytra has not much end lag. Uh oh. I was a little afraid there because even like last stock, uh, Vivi did a really good job of just going in and punishing that grab. Yeah, starting to put the epi there, punished. High recovery. Oh, oh, what a spot dodge! Didn't even need the diamond. I was gonna, I was about to say the same thing. <laughs> Didn't even need the diamonds, and I mean, I really wonder like. It didn't. It, it kind of just felt like once Jules got the lead, it felt really hard for Vivi. And when you feel it, when you have to make plays as Lucario against a character like Steve, it's just really hard. And Jules like did a really good job of covering different options, covered a lot of rolls out of the corner, and various oh, yeah. other things. No, they adapted so well from the last game. For sure. I wonder if we're gonna see Vivi go hero. Uh, um, I don't. Ooh. It's game three, so Jules is locked into Steve. Right. That's not how that works. Oh, no. Well, it's not, but, but Jules is going to pick first. So if Jules picks Steve first, Vivi yeah. gets the counter. That's what go. I meant. Yeah, yeah, sorry, sorry. I, yeah. Uh, my fault. It's, it's okay. You're forgiven. I didn't know that. Really. We're just going to see the Cario Steve. Honestly, yeah. like, you want, like, you know, Vivi won the first game. Um, the you know, game. Jules won the second game. We're and on, they're both great. Yeah. They're doing great with both characters. We're on green the Cario now. Different matchup. Counterpicked. Yep. It combo Kellos, from Jules. fantastic stage. 43, good for both characters. Uh -oh. um, okay, we're seeing those early strings, avoiding the anvil. Yeah, Vivi's done a really good, like, Vivi is showing a lot of good matchup knowledge, like, knowing when you can roll the shield against up tilt and shield, various other things like that. Good awareness of how to play around the anvil. Jules, on the other hand, has already tacked on 106%. Wow! Ooh. That was cute. Yeah, I didn't know they could do that. Yeah, so if Lucario extreme seeds into a wall at a flat mm. angle, uh, you will just cling onto the wall. I think nice. Greninja is the same way with Hydro Pump, too. Oh, yep. okay. Okay, are yeah. doing a great job there, going through the blocks. Yeah, and I think uh, Kalos will let Vivi live a little longer, which is definitely going to be crucial to you know keeping this aura alive. Yeah, how large are these sides? Because I felt that Jules should have died. So the top Kalos is taller. is the equivalent to ba battlefield. Battlefield, yeah. Gotcha. So battlefield ceiling and battlefield walls. Yes. And Kalos itself is the same size as like FD. Yeah. Like ah. So uh, still like second widest uh, total legal stage. Unless you count. Well, I think even if you count the platform, it's still not wider than PS2. Yeah. That's really raw. That maybe losing that stock so right that maybe losing that stock right there means that Jules now has an opportunity to just rack on so much extra credit. Back throw here. Okay. Or else you're gonna hit the Elytra. Down great air, and that's job. a great edge guard. Reading the low. Yeah. Reading the low return of the ledge, but now we have Diamond on deck, and this Diamond is here way earlier than it was in the last games. Yeah, they were struggling to find that last time. Even on third stock, they didn't have it. Yeah, for sure. And Oop. I well, um Kalos, you get Diamond a little earlier? I 
I, yeah, I, I forget the what the rules are for, for diamond, but like I know that this is more of a stone stage. Yeah, that's what I'm aware of too. Yeah, it's not regular uh, material. Yeah. I do need to study up on what stages Steve gets different materials on faster. Right. But I don't know, so I'm just gonna lie on commentary. Good mix up there by VV again, wall cling onto Kalos. Uh oh. This Good diamond job is so scary. This forward smash will kill that stupid early percents. I mean, how? I mean, they can wait it out. They can they can lose the diamond. Yeah, diamond is so durable though. Just like normal Minecraft. Back air, not gonna kill me yet, but oh. dangerous. Oh. And this time catches the mix up, and VV on tournament stock. Great grab though. I mean, VV can definitely do this, right? And especially yeah. with a character like Lucario, you can never count them out. Nair Jules, tries though. to read the air dodge. Yeah, she can. She can just swing. Oh, there it is. Take act is fine. Oh my god. Okay. I would have died there. Oh no, this is death. Oh. Oh my god. There's no pickaxe no. though for the spike. Uh -oh. You can't spike with your bare hand. I mean, it was cute. We'll give him that. <laughs> Steve just be slapping. <laughs> wow, extreme speed from the platform. Wait a minute. Oh. oh. Going again? Okay. Jules' of shield is really low. Ooh, I thought it was gonna be shield break. No, but catching through the shield. Yeah, Jules isn't aware of the how fast he can nice roll a shield. Nice catch, but what? Oh my god, Jules is... Okay, there's okay. a dash attack, and let's see if Vivi's gonna break the crafting table. No. Right, Vivi has Diamonds go. are back, though. Vivi has go. Vivi has go. <laughs> no, no. not like this. Oh, oh wait, wait, and that's wait. Kalos. Still has go. They're that's still Kalos alive? helping you out. And this is so doable. Uh... A couple open-ups and a hard read is all it takes for Vivi to take this. Playing so evasively, Jules low on iron, too. Right, Vivi just dancing around everything. Yeah, Vivi is playing so slippery right now. Oh, uh, good job not jumping. And Jules is fishing for this back air. She knows it's all it takes. One iron on deck. Okay, oh my god, dodge through it. Oh my god, this is so tense. You can feel the pressure on both players. Playing, uh, mining on the platform oh, there, no anvil. The anvil? Oh. oh, the forward smash. Okay, mining for free. Almost. Okay, more anvil. VV is playing so good right now. So <gasps> safe. Uh, Not doing wait. a single overcommittal option. Okay. <gasps> that Oris here back here would have taken the stock, I think. Okay, yep. <gasps> oh, oh, death! That's, that's it! it. Oh, that's VV it! VV takes it over Jules. And one read is all it took. Wow. One read is all it took. Wow. What a... What an ending! That last stock went on for like over a minute. Yeah. J Vivi evaded everything perfectly. As we can see here, oh, the good thing is Vivi There's did not jump. Wolf. And the yeah. hurt box shift. Are you exactly. Okay? <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. I am. I, I mean, Vivi's okay. And we actually saw a Vivi pop off. That's rare. I would have popped yeah. off there. Like, I mean, there we go. Yes, mm. to get the little yes. yes. Clutching out, la <laughs> clutching out last hit against Diamond Steve. Wait, the pop off into the fist bump. Yo, true combo. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, winning last hit situations mm. against Steve with Diamond is so hard. And uh. again, I mean, really gets such a jewels. Obviously, mm. getting third. It kind of felt like she just put herself in positions where she didn't have as much iron as she would have liked. Yeah, I don't know what happened there when um, she lost that. Uh, well, she lost everything and just <laughs> she could have won that the forward air, um, like into the spike, but she just had her hands. It just a little slap. <laughs> yeah, well, that's just you ran out of your thing, but yeah. Wow, I mean, I'm Vivi played that so well, and you know what Vivi's reward is? Set number five million.